If I was in tune with you, would you believe me? If I showed you I want to value your time, would you believe me? If I showed you I want to value your time, would you trust me? Showing you that I'm not here to play mind games with you. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day. God showed me it was a purpose to show you that I can value your time in a healthy way. You know, when your steps is ordered, when you least expect it. I'm here to value your time in a healthy way. You know, it's not a one-sided situation. It's a two-way street when it comes to respect. Me respecting you, you respecting me. Showing you that I can value your time. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day with God's guidance. You know, they play mind games with you in the past, but I'm not here to play mind manipulation games with you today. I'm here to be the real one that you never had in your life to show you what real was. You know, real love, something that truly exists with the right one that's truly for you. You know, value your time on a good day. Showing you at the end of the day that when you have bad days within your bad days of having your misunderstanding days, that I could be your peace and your balance in a healthy way. Get in tune with you. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day without having malicious intentions towards you. It's like you want your thought process, let alone your freedom or your eyesight or your pockets at the end of the day because you can never buy true love. Valuing your time was part of God's plan. God showed me at the end of the day, being a believer within a believer, that true love is real and true love exists. Believing in fairy tales is something I always knew that was true. You know, I had bad situations with con- when it came to unhealthy relationships, dealing with domestic violence, disputes, and all type of toxic situations. It was projected on my mindset. I was the healthy one in the relationship. I just wanted to show up, but they didn't know how to respect me or stay true to me. They wanted to have third-party conversations, and I said, I'm not settling for less today. So when God guided me to you, God allowed me to see that your time was valuable. God allowed me to see how precious you was. God allowed me to see how intelligent and beautiful you was. God allowed me to see, wow, you're a queen within a queen, then a queen that wears a crown and her crown is tilted today and I could fix it and show her that how beautiful she is. Yeah, you're pretty, 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 pretty. I'm trying to value your time, good day, bad day, misunderstanding day. When the world's against you, I'm just trying to be your peace in a healthy way. Get in tune with you. Show you at the end of the day that I can honor you and respect you for who you truly are. Something that you're not used to, a real one. You know, not the one who's going to play mom manipulation games with you. Sit here and suck your thought process, learning your freedom or your pockets at the end of the day because you can never buy true love. You know, I want to take them walks in the park, you know, that healthy love and take walks in the park with that healthy love, go on trips and understand that a successful relationship can happen, having balance but then balance and then the day you can show up for your your day-to-day regular routine of your life at the end of the day and i can show up for mine as well but i can still be a piece in the balance and understand that we could be in a relationship but within a situation that a healthy relationship of a situation that god is allowing us to unite for a reason to value each other's time that i could honor you and respect you for who you truly are you know that toxic behavior don't live here today because god closed that door for a reason for a purpose to show you at the end of the day that love is real love is one of a kind with the right one that's genuine for you when you tuned in, to be tuned into yourself the healthy way to understand the sign within the summit that true love is real. To understand the sign within the summit that, you know, when the real one comes to your life, they don't have time to play mom manipulation games. They mean what they say and they say what they mean without wearing a mask. To tune into you, good day, bad day, misunderstanding day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And just because moments, they your peace and your balance in a healthy way, tune into you. Because <laughs> you are worthy. They allowed you to feel unworthy at one point in time in your life, but you are worthy. Sorry they made you feel uncomfortable so you wouldn't be able to show up for yourself. You showed up for yourself in toxic ways, and that wasn't part of you. That was something that was installed within you, but you wanted to change your life today, become your best self vision of yourself so you found peace in a healthy way. And God said, I'm going to guide the right one into your life so you can be happy and understand the assignment that you could be at peace with yourself and your, your, your own little world, but I could bring somebody into your life that it's going to balance your peace in a healthy way to show you at the end of the day that love is real. Love is one of a kind with the right one that's genuinely for you. Someone that's going to be tuned into you to understand the assignment within the assignment that love is real. Love is one of a kind with the right one that's genuinely for you. You walk by faith, not by sight. So when you was crying, those tears, God heard you. God wiped your tears and God saw your pain. The relationships that you was dealing with, your past tense situations, that they showed you that just you being yourself and your authentic, genuine self to show genuine love that they couldn't value your time to respect you for who you truly was. They wanted to play mom manipulation games, deal with third-party conversations. They wanted to psych you out your thought process, let alone your freedom in your pockets. They wanted to manipulate your character for something that you truly wasn't. And all you was trying to do was just love them and respect them. But they wasn't ready for somebody real and genuine, true. How you was built. Something that was already installed within you, true love. 
Love that's so beautiful within. Something that you knew how to cherish and value at the end of the day. Something that you never lost within. Something that they can't get in tune with when you say you mean what you say and say what you mean. That you're true to yourself, to love yourself, to respect yourself, to respect someone that comes into your life, to treat them genuinely. Something that they can't get used to. But when God closed that door for a reason, God said, I'm going to send a real God said, I'm gonna send a real one into your life to value your time, to respect you for who you truly are, to show you at the end of the day that love is real. Love is one of a kind with the right one that's generally for you without wearing a mask. God allows you to believe in fairy tales do exist because fairy tales do exist with the right one that's truly for you. Someone who's not going to play mom manipulation games and psych you out your thought process or allow you to believe that you're unworthy of yourself. God said, don't give up today because I got something better in store for you. Your steps was ordered when you least expected to tune into yourself for someone to tune into you. Y'all on the same page. It's the mindset for me. How when you could be genuine and true to yourself and someone could be genuine and true to you without the malicious type, with the, without the malicious, without the malicious mind games. You know, they know your worth. They know their self-worth. They know they value. You know your value. You have the confidence within your confidence to have self-control, to have self-respect, to be at peace with yourself, to have genuine, healthy self-awareness, to know at the end of the day, you walk by faith, not by sight, and you understood the assignment that you are the miracle within yourself, and God allows you to believe that your, your steps is already ordered. When God allows you to believe, like, listen, I heard your prayer beyond your prayers. You just wanted someone genuinely true to be real with you like you're real with yourself. And God says the love of your life is right here to value your time for a lifetime without the mind games. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. And you deserve to be treated with respect. 365 days with no malicious intentions to bring harm towards yourself and others around you. Never allow the enemy or hate in disguise or personal malicious intentions. Psych out your thought process of your freedom because you are worthy and you matter. <laughs> I truly preach the time to the genuine ones only. God installed these tools within us. Self-awareness, self-respect, self-peace, self-healing, self-control, self-discipline, self-confidence, self-care, self-value, self-love, self-worth, self-patience, and healthy boundaries, and self-healing. So we could become our best self vision of ourselves, regardless of what trauma we endure as a child going into our adulthood, maybe being sexually assaulted, discrimination. You put a name to your book, but God allows you to see it the day for a reason. God was patient with your process, and God allows you to believe in yourself to understand with the assignment within the assignment that you walk by faith, not by sight, and God got your back. God did not install within you to give up on yourself or live in fear or be discouraged. The enemy did. God installed patience within you so you could become your best self vision of yourself because God allowed you to see a reflection of yourself today, that you are worthy and that you are patient with yourself and you understood the assignment of self-awareness. When your dreams become your reality, the true love is real with the right one that's journey for you. <laughs> you know, they don't understand how you overcame your trauma to become your best self vision of yourself and you don't have to wear a mask when you tune into God and you don't have to wear a mask when you have genuine self-peace within you to look at your reflection today regardless of what trauma you endure as a child going into your adulthood. You just want to become your best self-vision of yourself. You stay in your lane and respecting yourself to respect your neighbor and your neighbor doesn't understand. But it's okay. You never judge a book by its cover. And question a child of God at the end of the day. I say this respectfully. You're only playing in your own face. Hey, child of God, continue to elevate, continue to become your best self-vision of yourself. And you understood the assignment within the assignment that being patient was the process and God got your back. You know, you don't have malicious intentions to bring harm towards yourself and others around you, you know, and you're staying in your lane just because your neighbor don't understand you. It's not meant for your neighbor to understand you. God allows you to believe that you are the miracle within yourself. So continue to protect your energy. God is good. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Love yourself. Love yourself. With God's protection from every direction. Now you genuine love. Respect. <laughs> have a good day and have a safe week. Respect.